Hey everyone, it's your girl Tara Michelle. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Opinionated Sense, our safe space to discuss all things fragrance, whether we like them or not. Today we will be discussing four new releases and I will be giving you my first impressions of all of them. So if you don't like the cellophane wrapping, opening sound, I apologize ahead of time. I personally think of it as ASMR. I love it. But I really wanted to experience these things with you. Keep in mind with this being my first impression. See, a lot of y'all love these videos because, boy, mm, they learn how to hold my tongue. Sometimes a fragrance when it's first sprayed doesn't smell the best. I've said this to you guys a thousand times before. You guys feel it. You guys are perfume nistas just like me, so you know how it is. As well as the fact that we don't know what these sticks that we use are coated with. We don't know if there's a chemical on the paper or just that it doesn't vibe with the paper. There are some things that smell terrible on paper but smell great on my skin and vice versa. So we're just going to get through this. Take it with a grain of salt, and we're going to reserve final judgment for two things. One, once I've actually had a full chance to wear them, and two, once you've had a full chance to wear them, because of course, your opinion is what matters above all. So, let's jump right into the video. First up, we're going to talk about Sugarful Dream from the House of Michelle Germain. So, this is a flanker of Sugarful and Sugarful and Spice, which I've done videos on. This is Sugarful Dream. It's blue, so I love it. Um, I do believe blueberry is like the star of this. Okay, so the top isn't on it. Here is the bottle. Sugarful Dream. So the notes in here are delectable blueberry, wild strawberry, pink grapefruit in the top, Passion flower, euphoric star jasmine, and dreamy lavender in the middle, and then French vanilla, musk, and golden amber in the base. So let's spray this baby. I should have been better prepared. I just came from working out and just thought, you got a film. You've been sitting here with these perfumes for days and days. Get it together. I always hold my breath and don't breathe until I'm ready. Mm. Oh my God. That. Wow. Okay. Okay. This is amazing. First impression, love at first sniff. Um, the blueberry, I absolutely pick up. But I also get the star jasmine and the lavender. Man, the pink grapefruit and the amber. Guys, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. So it has that sweetness from the original sugar, uh, sugarful, but this is like more dreamy, more um, sensual, more like sexy, like not as flirtatious, girly, more I'm a sexy grown woman type of vibe. Wow. Okay. I'm really liking this. The use of jasmine, the use of amber and lavender make this um, not mature like, you know, Chanel old lady outdated mature, but more grown up than the original Sugarful. Sugarful and Spice gives you a little bit of zhuzh too. More like the fall holidays. Um, you smell good, you smell, you know what I'm saying, you know, a little sexiness. This is like a dream. dream. I keep doing it. I keep forgetting what something is called and, and whatever, but 
yes, I get this. This is like, like, you know, when you're in the movies and they cut to the dream sequence and everything is just so perfect. And Jason Momoa just walks into my room right now and just, so that's what this is. This is really nice. Um, the sugar fruit line isn't for everyone. See, I'm not the girl who is strictly niche. I love a designer. Um, I love a good celebrity fragrance. This is like, this isn't the hundred to $300 bottle stuff from Michelle Germain. This is the more affordable line. So that's what you're getting here. Not $64 is not cheap. So you're getting what you pay for in the sense that this is the next level. This is a step up to me from, you know, um, your run of the mill can can by Paris Hilton or something like that. Something that's really, really sweet and pretty, but you know, full well, it's more girly and flirtatious, you know, going to the bar, date night type of thing where this is, we've already been on our first date. You know, I like you. I know you like me It's going down type of thing for me, or it could just be a nice, pretty summer scent if that's what you like. But this, is sexy to me not sexy as in you know little black dress and high heels sexy sexy as in come on over we for the netflix and chill i might be in my pajamas but do you really care anyway because you're just trying to give me you know, whatever you you y'all know what i'm talking about i like this i really really do next up we're going to talk about my way intense from the house of Giorgio armani so I want to go over the original, which is here, um, and this one, the notes before I even open it. So with the original, um, in the top, we had orange blossom and bergamot. So in the intense, you have orange blossom and bitter orange. So that's our first difference. We're dealing with bitter orange in the intense versus bergamot in the original. The middle notes in the um, original, <laughs> Lord, Tara Michelle, um, tuba rolls and Indian jasmine. That's the middle. Tuba rolls and Indian jasmine. For the intense, it's Indian tuba rolls and tuba rolls. Now, here's the thing. This might have been a, a mistake on Fragrantica. Maybe it is actually supposed to read Indian jasmine and tuba rolls like the original. I don't know because I've never heard of Indian tuberose. Me personally, I don't think. So that could be a typo. Um, the base of the original is white musk, Madagascar vanilla, and Virginia cedar. And in the intense, it's just Madagascar vanilla and sandalwood. Ooh. So no white musk, no Virginia cedar. Sandalwood is not more potent than Virginia Cedar. So I'm interested to see how the intense is going to be more intense with them dropping the Virginia Cedar and the white musk and just putting in sandalwood. But the bitter orange, yeah. And I really would love to know if those middle notes are incorrect on Fragrantica. But let's get into it. Here is the bottle. I have heard that this one was not too far off from the original. So... I didn't feel the need to get a huge, huge bottle. I didn't of the original. These are the same size. This is a darker juice. I love this bottle. I love this whole freaking just vibe. This is this vibe. So anyway, um, let's get into it. I'm not going to do a side by side right now. I just want this to be my first impressions. And I want to try to give this thing a chance to stand on its own. And I might do a video. Comparing them side by side later on. Mm, not good. Okay. This is, um, it is more boisterous. Um, it's deeper. It's darker. It's, it's, uh, what is the word? It's like more heavily concentrated. So to me, and I, I probably shouldn't use the word boisterous because you know what? This this tuberose is different. This tuberose smell like wet tuberose. Like a tuberose that's, you know, got rained on and sat there for a minute, and then you come by and smell it after it's been saturated. That's not a bad thing, but it's a very different vibe from the fresh, 
vibrant bubblegummy candy tuberose that I get from the original. This is almost like an earthy, dirty tuberose. Man, that's that's sexy to me. Um, who am I becoming? I can't believe I just said that, but this is um, it's different. It's different. It smells like a dirty tuberose, which I've never smelled before. And by dirty, I mean like earth, like dirt. Um, I pick up on the sweetness to the tuberose, but it's not candied or bubble gum to me. So if you do not like tuberose, I think that this one would be harder for you to like than the original. Because usually for people who don't like tuberose, if it's super sweet, super candied, super bubble gummy it's easier for them to deal with whereas this one this is this is different this is different i gotta put this on my skin this is different i know i said i wasn't gonna compare them. look you know i wasn't trying a lot of y'all i just uh i feel the need oh yeah honey please two totally different fragrances side by side so on these sticks so Light, vibrant, beautiful, girly, or feminine, shall I say. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, my God. I love the original one. This one. It's flatter. It's not as bright and vibrant and sparkling. That's going to be the difference in the bergamot and the bitter orange. This one is darker, like I said. Um more weight this is more mystery this is like a russian spy you know she's coming in here to smell super good and get your attention you have no idea she's gonna kill you in an hour you know what i'm saying if that long and um it's different there's something pulling so earthy to me it doesn't give me the spice of the patchouli but it gives me the dirtiness of it on this stick y'all oh i'm so glad i did a first impressions with y'all this is so much cleaner and fresher and just easier to wear um, all the way around. Work appropriate, church appropriate. You wearing this and I'm thinking you're going to a bar, you know, you're going somewhere sultry, you know, to do things. Okay, So um, I definitely think for me, the original is where my heart lies. I'm going to have to wear them. Um, well, not, I know what the original smells like. I'm going to have to wear this one and follow back up with you guys. This one is not bad. It is not bad. Um, But there is something in this that is definitely not in the original. And I don't know. I like it. And for me, okay, let's just talk about whether you need them both. Um, you can have both of these because they don't smell alike to me. Yes, they both share the tuberose in common, but that's it. To my nose, they do not smell similar. Now, I'm going to have to wear them on my skin, but I just cannot. Unless it's because that was the first spray out of there and that first spray was just off. I can't imagine this thing just pulling uh, exactly like the original on my skin with this drastically different as it is right now. But you never know. I'm not going to count anything out. What I will say is that the original is bae. Mm -mm. Forever and ever and ever and ever. This next one is God is a Woman by Ariana Grande. This name is just, you know, why? Just why? Stop playing. Okay. I don't know anything about this, so I'm going to pause the video and pull the notes up on the computer and I'll be right back. So she stayed putting her perfume bottles in something that you can take them out of. And I much prefer this bottle outside of this chunky, uh, whatever, what have you. I'm not doing this with this girl. I'm just not. So this is by Ariana Grande. Of course, it's called God is a Woman. And um, yeah, the notes. Pear and Ambrette, which is also called Musk Mallow. Oris. Turkish Rose, Sandalwood, Madagascar Vanilla. I like all of those notes. Okay. Okay. 
First of all, that smell like cloud. That smells like cloud. Okay. What else this smell like? <laughs> I'm not keeping this. Okay, so here. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Opinionated, you take your behind to sleep. We are behaving today. Nope. Okay, so for me, it hit me with vibes of cloud first. A little bit of REM too. This is, um, I might keep this. See, this is what I be talking about when she just be, just be ready to say some stuff. Um, it's okay. This definitely smells like what people give celebrity fragrances flack for. It smells like, you know, the quintessential celebrity fragrance, something that wasn't really, you know, like it was just put together. Like it was like, I just want something pretty. I'm not trying to go for anything super unique, super fascinating. I just want you to smell feminine and girly. And I do believe this is like vegan and cruelty free or something like that. Maybe even gluten free, like all those really, really beautiful things for sustainability and taking care of the earth and planet and animals and stuff. So there's that. Um, but this gives me vibes of MFK 540, Gentle Fluidity and Gold. Like it's just giving me very familiar vibes of several different things. Um, you know what? I can rock this. Um, I can rock this. It just isn't unique. Like I am, I'm, this smells so pretty to me. It really does smell good. Um, I feel like it could be a body wash. It could be a body spray. It could be a lotion. Um, a little bit of that um, falling in love by um, philosophy. Like this just, this is just giving me vibes like of several things I already own. So I'm curious about the longevity because it's starting to disappear on this stick relatively quickly. But that I love the pear and the ambre in this baby. Yes. So it's cute, um, which is what we expect from Ariana Grande. Her target audience is going to love this. Most of them probably won't have any of the fragrances that I just named. And when you're talking about having a vibe of stuff that's so expensive, like MFK, Gentle Fluidity and Gold, and Baccarat Rouge, and even, you know, of course you want something that's much cheaper. But the Cloud, the REM, the Falling in Love from Philosophy, like all of these things that just, you know, mm -hmm, this is cute. This is cute. I reserve my final judgment for full wear test. If I don't like this, I'm going to give it to my 17 year old because she's going to love it. Last but not least, we're going to discuss Perfect Intense by Marc Jacobs. So I absolutely love the original Perfect. Um, I pulled up the notes. So in the original, which is there. Um, I don't really plan on doing the side by side, but we see how that worked last time. So the top notes are rhubarb and narcissus. In the intense, the top notes are narcissus and night blooming jasmine. So the rhubarb is gone. Middle notes, almond milk for the original. And just regular almond for the intense. Base notes, cashmere and cedar for the original. The intense, sandalwood. So there's a lot of replacing cedar with sandalwood going on. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, I like that strip tea. Don't play with me. I'll be getting it. Um, this is pretty, 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 pretty packaging. I gotta stop filming at night because I just be ridiculous for no reason. <laughs> um, so, oh, 
Oh, it's yellow. So the liquid is yellow versus like a pinkish type of situation here. This is the one I'm super excited about. Like, this is the one I love. Perfect. It's perfect. Okay, now that's the spray that almost threw the uh stick on my hand. That's what I'm talking about. They Ariana Grande spray is trash. I'm sorry. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I got to. That is. That is. That's for the grown and sexy, baby. Don't play with me. This is definitely, let me give it a chance on its own. There is a nuttiness to this right off the bat. This smells um, much more, um, no, it can, it can be almond. It can definitely be almond. Like if you, yeah, you crushing it and it's real potent, like with the oil and stuff. Man, let me tell you something about that Narcissus. So the nutting in the nuttiness in this, the almond in this is very potent to me. And it's unlike just a regular almond or almond milk with that easy breezy light almondness. This, if you like almond, you're going to love this fragrance. It's very present here. Um, the narcissus which I'm starting to believe because of the notes here is what gives me that old school Jolly Rancher smell that I got from Perfect that a lot of you told me you pick up too. Just, uh -huh, is beautiful. Um, the Night Blooming Jasmine, you know, might be what's making the almond pick up so strongly. The way that they're working together right now, Clash is a little bit for me. Just, just a little bit for me. Not enough to deter me from liking this fragrance, but actually makes me more inquisitive about what it's going to smell like on my skin. I super, super want to wear this. Um, the sandalwood is sandalwood. You know what I'm saying? Sandalwood to me adds such a beauty and a sex appeal and a lastingness to perfumes. It's one of my favorite notes. It's definitely probably my favorite wood note of them all. So... This gets better. This gets better as it's opening up in the air and um, as it's, it's on the stick. The almond and the night jasmine are working together better now. They're not so strikingly potent and, you know, um, working to both have so much of the spotlight from everything else. They are compatible now, more compatible. And the narcissus is allowed to shine my goodness okay um i don't even really need to spray this one because i'm vibing heavily with the new one but i'm gonna do it anyway yeah they, the openings are totally different of course you're going to get something totally different when you're comparing rhubarb to a night blooming jasmine so the openings are just night and day rhubarb is the star of this one narcissus and almond are the star in the opening of this one and then the jasmine comes in it's like uh, uh, uh. do not try to leave me out interesting interesting Okay, these are definitely different enough that you can have them both. Um, I see me loving perfect, always and forever, and I could definitely wear this in the spring and in the summer. Whereas this one, I feel like I would reach for it more in the fall, but I feel like you could also wear it year round. You could really wear both of these all year round. 
but this one is the, the the intense one is definitely going to be able to last better in the arctic cold winters of the midwest versus this one without needing to be topped up probably every four hours but for those of you who didn't like the rhubarb in the original perfect then you're going to probably love this one the narcissus is alive much more and earlier in this one and whereas it comes in in the mid and in the dry down and throughout the rest from the mid on in this one this one is lighter it is more girly it is you know fresher and flirtier it's it's this is i feel like i'm saying the same thing as i did about the my ways this one um I really, it's, it's just like a first love of mine. So I'm not going to say that this one is just going to take it over, but I do like this one. Now, the problem for me that, that I'm coming across is on this stick right now, I'm picking up nothing but Jasmine. Just that quick. Okay, the Narcissus is still there, but I have to search for it. So again, I need these, this on my skin. I need this on my skin. I want to thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I hope I answered some questions for you guys. And of course, in the comment section, I would love to know, have you already picked these up? Are you eyeing them? Were you looking into them? And now you're thinking you'll wait till you can get your hands on a sample. I do like them all. Which one do you think you'd like the most? Or if you've tried them, please let me know how you feel about them. Um, as always, if you have not already subscribed and joined the Terror Squad, please do. You know, I love to have you here. Do not forget to click the like button and select the notification bell so that you never miss any of my future uploads. And until then, bye.